there, this is Saul Chironin from Saul Chironin Films and welcome to another updated collection video for 2020 and today I'm going to attempt to show you my Eureka Masters of Cinema collection which consists of Blu-rays and DVDs and I'm just going to show you the Eureka kind of cult releases that don't that aren't actually numbered yeah, they kind of have a quirk of fate that DVD numbers are shared with the Blu-ray numbers. So I'm just going to keep my DVDs separate and then go through the Blu-rays trying not to knock over a pile, which is going to be difficult for this video. Eureka Masters of Cinema are excellent especially in the field of silent films. That's where they probably beat Criterion. Um, again, lost films, kind of silent films from masters, but then obviously in their unnumbered releases, sometimes some random cult films. So we'll start with the unnumbered releases. So we have Blackula and Scream Blackula Scream. We have Break Heart Pass with Charles Bronson. We have Kujo, a special edition. We have George Romero's The Dark Half. We have The Dogs of War with Christopher Walken. This is pretty much the same release and artwork of Twilight Time in the States. We have Paul Verhoeven's Flesh and Blood. The Incident. Two early John Woo films. The Last Hurrah for Chivalry and Hand of Death. Lucky with Harry Dean Stanton. The Man Who Could Cheat Death, an Amicus. George Romero's Monkey Shines. Night of the Creeps. Jackie Chan's Police Story 1 and 2. How the Man is Still Alive is beyond me. Jackie Chan's Project A Part 1 and 2. Reborn. Robinson Crusoe on Mars. Three Samuel Hung films, The Iron-Fisted Monk, Eastern Condors, and The Magnificent Butcher. The Skull, another fun little amicus. The Tiger, great Korean film which went sick. Used Cars, Robert Zemeckis. Violent Saturday and finally just to give a complete bizarre mix Takashi Miki's Yatterman that features one amazing song it's fantastic so I'll start with the numbered Eureka Masses of Cinema 
DVDs. So number seven is Joe May's Asphalt from 1929. Number ten, Francisco Guillermo del Dio, Francis God's Jester by Robert Rossellini from 1950. Number 12 is The Naked Island by Shindo from 1960. Number 15 is Kurosawa's Scandal from 1950. I think he did another film out in 1950, I can't remember what it's called. Number 20, Assassination. This is by Shinoda from 1964. Number 27 is Abhijan by Sajit Ray, which is featured on one of my Sajit Ray review videos from 1962. Number 29 is Kobayashi's Kuedan from 1965. This is the full three-hour version, of course. Number 32, Funeral Parade of Roses, from 1969, by Toshio Matsumoto. Number 44 is Silence, from 1971 by Shinoda. Still haven't seen the Scorsese remake. Don't really have any rush or need to see it. Number 49 and 50 is Georges Franjou's wonderful Judex and Nuit de Rouge from 1963 and 1973. Number 67 by Kon Ikao. Ichikawa Kokoro from 1955. From 1968, Le Grand Jeu by Jacques Feder from 1934. Number 70, William de Terley's The Devil and Daniel Webster from 1941 which is a fun little film. Michelangelo Antonioni from number from number 82, Il Grido from 1957. Spy number 83 is La Tête contre le Mur by Fangio from 1959 which is very good. Number 93, Obayashi's House from 1977. Number 106 and 107, the two Fritz Lang Indian films from 1959. Um, Der Tiger von Eschapur and Das Indesch Grabmal Apologies to any German-speaking viewers. Number 115 is Rogopag from 1963. Number 121 is Ern Lubitsch's Wonderful Trouble in Paradise from 1932. Number 122 is the complete existing films of Sado Yamanaka. Um, these are 137, 1937 to 19, sorry, 1935 to 1937. Number 129 is Claude Chabrol's Le Beau from 1958. And spine number 130 is La Cousin 
by Cloud Chabrol from 1959. And finally, number 133, Antonio Campos' Simon Killer from 2012. So that's my Eureka Massive Cinema numbered DVDs. So let's make a start on the Blu-rays. Deep breath. Number one is Murnau's Sunrise. Number two is a Johnny Toe film, Mad Detective. Number three is from Kiyoshi Kurosawa, Tokyo Sonata. Number five, For All Mankind. Number six, La Planète, La Planète Sauvage. Number eight, Murnau's City Girl. Number nine, M by Fritz Lang. Number 11 by Imamura, Vengeance is Mine. Number 13, The Burmese Harp by Konnichiwa. Number 15 is Leo McCary's Amazing Mate Way for Tomorrow. Number 16 is Metropolis. By Fritz Lang. Number 20, Harakiri. SGS Films and Nazarin Prod have done excellent videos reviewing um, Kobayashi's film. You should go check them out. Number 23, Steelbook of Silent Running. Number 25, Touch of Evil, Orson Welles. Number 26, Monty Hellman's Two Lane Black Cop. <laughs> Two Lane Black Cop. Two Lane Black Top. Even Two Lane Black Cop is a completely different film. Number 27, Alex Cox, Repo Man. Number 28, with Silence de la Mer, John Pierre Melville. Number 29 is Punishment Park by Peter Watkins. Number 32 is The Island of Lost Souls with Charles Lawton, with a wonderful, subtle performance. Number 33 is Pasolini's Gospel According to Matthew. Number 39, Pasolini's Oedipus Rex. Number 40, Kenugasa's Gate of Hell. Number 41, Ozu's Floating Weeds. The 1959 version. Number 43, Fritz Lang's Testament of Dr. Mabusa, which I also have on Steelbook. It was ridiculously cheap, that's how I justify it. It was ridiculously cheap on eBay for a Steelbook. Of... That's how I'm justifying it. Number 44, Billy Wilder's Wonderful Double Indemnity. Number 45, Billy Wilder's Even Better Lost Weekend. Number 46, Fritz Lang's De Nibelungen. All 282 minutes of it. Yeah, I mean, if you're a Fritz Lang, Murnau, um, Billy Wilder fan, um, Eureka Cinema's where it's at. Number 49, 
Joseph von, von Sternberg's Blue Angel, Marlene Dietrich. Number 50, Passion of Joan of Arc by Dreyer, which is stupendous. Number 55, Onibaba. Number 56, by Shindo 2, Kuroneko. Number 57, Cluzo's The Murderer Lives at 21. Number 69, Dr. Mabuse the Gambler, Fritz Lang. Number 70, The Wonderful Nosferatu, by Murnau, which looks amazing. Number 78 is Murnau's Faust. Number 82, another Billy Wilder masterpiece, Ace in the Hole. Number 83, Harold and Maud, Hal Ashby. Number 88, Wake and Fright. Number 89, Boomerang. Number 90, Spioni, or Spies, Fritz Lang. Number 91, Frau Mond, Fritz Lang. Number 92, This Cabinet, Des Dr. Caligari, which is stunning. It's just stunning. Conrad Veidt, don't need to say much more than that. 93, Ernst Lubitsch, Madame du Barry. Number 96, Suzuki's Youth of the Beast. Number 97, this is Pabst, Diary of a Lost Girl. Number 98, The Thief of Baghdad. This is the Douglas Fairbanks 1924 version. Number 99, Intolerance. For a number of hundreds, they did uh, something special and essential. It's sure. This is 100 to 104. If you're going to buy one Masters of Cinema, um, you should really buy this one. Number 105, Wooden Crosses. 109, Anthony Mann's Man of the West. 110, The Offence. 111, Pick Up in South Street. More of that later. Sam Fuller. 115, Alain Resnay's Life of Riley. 116, Sam Fuller's 40 Guns, more of that later. 117, Billy Wilder's Stalag 17. 118, Oshima's Cruel Story of Youth. 121, The Wonderful Friends of Eddie Coyle, essential 70s film. Great late Robert Mitchum film. 122, Seconds, in my opinion, the best Frankenheimer film of that purple patch you went through. 124, Andre de Toth's Day of Outlaw, which is just a wonderful, jaw droppingly good western with Robert Ryan. 128, Three Days of the Condor. Uh, 129, Dragon Inn. Now this is where I might knock everything over. Because there's a big stack left. 131, Elaine May's New Leaf. Never knew anything about it. But Elaine May, Walter Matow, it's an absolute gem. 
136 and 137, Pasolini's Hawks and Sparrows and Pigsty. 138, Journey to the Shore, again by Kiyoshi Kurosawa. 140 to 144 are five films from Murnau from 1921 to 1925. Schloss, Vogelud, Phantom, Die Finanzen, Der Grossherzogs, Der Letze Man, and Tartuff. Again, apologies to any German viewers. Number 146 is The Last Command. 147, Fedora, a late Billy Wilder, which isn't his best, but it's still a lot to enjoy. Number 152, Twilight's Last Gleaming, a really fun, odd film with Burt Lancaster, Richard Widmark. It's fantastic. Number 155, Kubrick's Path of Glory. One five six, the man from Laramie. One five seven, hard times. One five eight, two road together. One five nine, creepy. Kiyosha Kurosawa. 165, Daughter of the Nile. 161, Der Mud Todd, or Destiny, by Fritz Lang. Just in case you hadn't heard Fritz Lang very well. 170 and 171 is West Front 1918 and Shaft, which is an excellent one about miners. 172 to 174 are three films by Buster Keaton, Sherlock Jr., The General, and Steamboat Bill. Steamboat Bill Jr. Again, the silent films is really where Eureka excels. Uh, 175 to 180 is Lubitsch in Berlin. And this has Ich Mochten Kein Man Sein, De Puppe, De Austin Prinzessin, Sumeron, and Anna Boleyn, and De Berkatze. Number 181 is another Kiyoshi Kurosawa. So if you're a Kiyoshi Kurosawa fan, Eureka Master of the Cinema has got you covered. This is my favourite so far that I've seen, Cure. 182, Billy Wilder's Wonderful Private Life of Sherlock Holmes. Again, this just absolutely blew me away. It's one of these later ones from 1970, but it's, a, it's absolutely a blast. Number 183, Dreyer's Michael. 184, you would see House again. One scene never forgotten. 185, Legend of the Mountain. 187, The Old Dark House. 188 and 190, early Hu Shai Shen, three films. 191, No Way Out. 194, another Billy Wilder, Witness for the Prosecution. Great Charles Lawton performance. 195, The Comedy, no, Salvador. 196, Fantastic Laura. 197, Another Fritz Lang, Human Desire. 
199, another Billy Wilder, 123. 200, The Last Waltz by Scorsese. 201, Hush Hush Sweet Charlotte by Robert Aldridge, which could do with about 15 20 minutes, guy. 202, More Shore, The Four Sisters. Still haven't watched it. You need to kind of be in the right mood, but it's comforting knowing it's there. 203, The White Reindeer. Again, SGS Films did a recent review of this. Go check it out. 204, another Fritz Lang, The Woman in the Window. 208, High Noon, probably heard about it. 211, Coming Home, another Hal Ashby. 212, The Chant of Jimmy Blacksmith. 213, Der Gollum. 214, The Fate of Lee Can. I said we'd mention them before. This is the Fuller at Fox box set, which is numbers 111, 116, 127, 216, and 217, which is Fixed Bayonets, Pick Up in South Street, Hell in High Water, House of Bamboo, and 40 Guns. And finally, it's a fairly fitting way to end this video. You'll be glad to know it is coming to an end. It's number 219, Sergio Leone's A Fistful of Dynamite, or Ducky Sucker, or Once Upon a Time in a Revolution. Um, two disc special edition, all you need to know. Um, great commentary by Alex Cox and another commentary by Christopher Frailing, because if you didn't need enough great commentaries. Fantastic. So thanks very much for bearing with me. I'm surprised I didn't knock everything over. I probably will when I put them try and put them back in the shelves. So thank you very much for watching. We are getting to the end of my updated collection videos. There's only two more labels left. You can probably guess what they are. So hopefully you've enjoyed this and your eyes haven't crossed as much as mine have. And hopefully we'll see you again. This is Solitude Rowan saying farewell.